What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, keep up to date with the content. Um, it's pretty cold down in the garage tonight. It's officially 2021, um, and we have big goals for 2021. Number one, get this Mini finished. Number two, get this Civic finished. Yeah, this EG6 is still here. Um, number three, keep the garage clean. No, it's never clean. <laughs> But um, yeah, guys, we have a few projects coming along. Um, we have the other Civic, my Civic, the K20 conversion. And the Civic is still sitting behind that big pile of absolute dirt. Um, Aaron has been down here the past couple of days. I haven't. Obviously, Christmas, work, and the kids and stuff. I just haven't been in the garage all week. Um, I do have footage from the week before. So that will be the next video that's going up on Monday. I also have more footage from this Mini. I did come down to do a few bits on the Mini, but um, I literally looked at it there, and my brother put the back windows in, and this window's in. Yeah, so, fair play, Aaron. Thanks for that. Um, Aaron's been messing with his Civic, as you can see. It's here behind me, up on axle stands. The wheels are off. He was doing something with the back brakes. He wasn't happy with the way the car was stopping, so... He's after rebuilding the whole rear brake assembly again. So he also got something really nice on the inside. Let's have a look. So number one is he cleaned up the seats. Um, but he doesn't want these. He's thinking about getting black Recaros. So if anyone needs SIR2 front seats, they're immaculate. There's like one blemish in this seat here. And there's a little tiny one in that seat over there. You can literally just see it where my finger is. It's not bad at all. The, the bolsters are perfect in the car. They really hold you in. So if anyone does need SIR2 seats, they're only fronts I have. Perfect condition. The headrests are there. They just need the covers put back on because my brother washed them. And check out the new thing you got for the car. Look, I'm slightly jealous. That steering wheel. That red stitch. It looks minty fresh. It's brand new. Only fully redone. And I might steal it and give him. <laughs> I'd, shh, shh, don't tell him. I'll steal it. But um, yeah, that's a nice addition for the EG6. It feels so good. It's really done well. It's tight. There's no movement in the leather. And it's real leather. It's proper. That works. So yeah, guys. The EG6 is really near completion. He was messing with the front brakes as well. As you can see, everything under there is brand new. Everything's powder coated, new bottom arms, all new, everything. New discs, new pads. These calipers fully rebuilt. He has good shocks, brand new shocks actually. They're brand new Honda shocks with 40 mil lowering springs. Um, everything is brand new, you can see. Every bush, every arm has been powder coated. That's not just dirt, it's literally, I can rub it and my finger's clean. Everything is powder coated on this car. So we'll go down to the back of the car and see what he was doing. So it's all back together. Um, I don't know what was wrong with it. There's the shocks there. Brand new shocks. All new adjustable arms. Powder coated rear arms. They're a bit dirty but they're all powder coated. Um, the rear discs, they're, they're not brand new but they're new. They were new on the car. So brand new pads. Calipers fully rebuilt. Nice exhaust. So yeah, guys, everything is literally brand new. He has all Powerflex bushes. They're all brand new red bushes. I don't know. I don't know what paint they are. They're the Powerflex. But yeah, it's clean. Like, it's, it's one of the cleanest Civics around I've seen. Anyway, he's done a super job on it. This side as well. Everything is new. Brand new. Shocks, springs. The springs are second hand, but they're good. All new arms, all new bushes. Everything is brand new on the back of the car. Brand new brake lines. As you can see, they're all braided lines. Uh, good copper um, pipes all for the rear. Brand new handbrake cables. Everything. Oh, look. He done his mesh. That looks good. Yeah. Self-made wings. I don't know how he done them, but super good looking. Yeah, the mesh is cool. I only noticed that now. The mesh is really, really cool. Um, and over this side, there's a bit of light and you can see. Look at all that newness. Everything is new. Brand new. Looks super good. Everything new. And he doesn't want to sell it. 
But if someone gives him a good offer, I'd say he'll take it. But yeah, let's see what he's been doing under the bonnet. Do do do. Oh, he didn't put the supercharger in yet. <laughs> I was hoping it was in, but now he wants to get the car running, driving, taxed, NCT'd and insured before he starts messing with the likes of the supercharger. Because he's going to need an ECU for the car to run it. So if anyone knows a good setup for a supercharger, he has all the injectors, he has the fuel pump, he has everything. Um, the supercharger is nearly fully rebuilt. He's just waiting on, I think it's a bearing that he's waiting on. Because he got a bearing and it was the wrong size. So he's waiting to get another bearing. Um, the engine looks great. He wants to get rid of that manifold. He's getting a new manifold for it. He's getting, I think, a two and a half inch Jasmine one. It's, it's not great, but it's better than that. That's tiny. That's literally two inch. And I know it's a B16, but he's going supercharged. So he does need a big outlet because... The supercharger is easy, going to add another 80 to 100 brake horsepower. Um, as far as I know, it's in 8 PSI or something like that, 8 PSI supercharger. Jackson Racing, so good for 80 to 100 brake. So the car is going to be roughly between 240 and 280 brake horsepower. And that's not pushing it. So yeah, that should be a good build. It should be should be fun. So that's the Civic. With the lovely wheels. I, lo I like them wheels. Uh, the rust bucket over there that's next as well but the mini has windows classic window has a rear window and this side isn't done yet oh alan oh alan look at look at my floor look at the rear seats are in yeah them rear seats aren't staying <laughs> obviously i have the rear dock well rear quarter panel cards I have new door cards, but I'm not using them. I'm going to use my brown leather clubby ones. Um, but yeah, inside the doors we didn't spray, but my brother left this all exposed. So it literally blends into the old grey, but it will be done. Um, the door cards cover most of the other stuff. That dash looks really good in there. And my brother doesn't like this steering wheel. What do you guys think? Do I keep the brown steering wheel? Or do I get a nice steering wheel? Maybe a leather wrapped one? But this is wood. It's literally a wooden steering wheel. I love it. No, I'm not changing it. Don't mind that. I was going to ask you to comment down below if I should keep the steering wheel. But I don't need you to. I'm keeping it. It's not going. So, I need to sort this top dash rail. Does anyone know where I would get a brown wrapped one? Or will I wrap it myself? Because I did put holes in it. And I do have another one somewhere. So... Yeah, that looks oh, so tidy. I wish me brother didn't do that. <laughs> Shit. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to text one of my mates. And he has lace for me. So I want to see if he's going to drop it around. He's only up the road. So I so want to get this car done. Oh, look at that. Just perfection. I really did pick a good colour. Honestly, think I did. The wheels go good with it. I need to finish off all the bumpers and stuff. And get Aaron to prime them and paint them. And get them fit to the car. The last thing you need to do to this car. Is literally fit everything and then sort that interior. That's going to be another video guys. I'm going to do a video on how to dye your cream leather seats brown. I have no idea how to do it. But I'm going to show you how to do it. <laughs> so, so I'm going to do a DIY on how to do something DIY, but I have to learn how to do, do it myself. So <laughs> it's going to be a learning experience for you and me. So yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. I'm hoping it turns out as good as I wanted to turn out because I, I was looking at the, the cream leather uh, middle bit in there for this, the, the gear gator, and it just doesn't go with the green. It just, it doesn't look right. It's not going to look right with the cream leather i was looking at the steering wheel and the dash is brown and it, it just it combinates the green so well have a look at the steering wheel and then just look look around look at the green with the brown it just, just have a look don't mind the yellow in the background but if you look at the brown with the green it just goes so well together i really think it does like you look at it from this angle you look at the green and the brown it just that green as well 
But yeah, this bonnet needs to be redone. My brother's not happy with it. It has a few scabby bits in it because it's so hard to get in there and, and body work it. So yeah, I'm going to do a few little bits now. I'm going to try and fit... Well, not try. I'm going to fit uh, the wiper motor and the chrome bit that goes here and my washer jets. Right guys, so they're both in, those two bits, and then the two wiper motor bits. So I'm going to stick the battery in and test them, make sure they're still working. Now I'm just going to take these bad boys and stick them in the holes. Now they're in, nice and tight, all hooked up. Let's test them now. So the motor works anyway. I'll have to check, make sure there's water in it. Let's check the horn. Yeah, that's working. So, yeah guys, wipers are going to work. Water, wet, wa washer jets are going to work. These are in, uh, need to be tightened a bit. But that's, that's it for the scuttle panel. Now this engine may is a mess. It's absolutely disgusting, grimy and nasty, but Al from Clean My Car is going to come down with a steam cleaner and a brush and he's going to absolutely blast this out of it. It's all going to come up nice and clean. Any touch-ups that need to be done, this will be redone. This panel in here, I'm going to take out and I'm going to cover up all the holes and then I'm going to silicone all the way around it so it's proper. That's the original bulkhead that goes there. That's the little metal bit that the loom goes in through. So that just needs to be tidied up. Um, I probably will have to take bits off to paint. I might try and get this inlet off, paint it up and clean the rail, uh, tidy up that manifold. But I was thinking about taking the engine out next year anyway, just to give it a good refresh. Even though it, was not, it wasn't done so long ago. Um, well, it was done not so long ago. Um, there's nothing needs to be replaced. It was only serviced. I only done the oil filter, but I do want to take it out. To get the engine bay painted the same green. It's all going to get done. So yeah. Look at that grill. And the lights look great. The indicators. Everything works. So yeah I'm happy with that. Um, guys I'm not going to stay here long. So I'm going to head off. I'm going to head home. Get a bit of grub. I'm in work tomorrow. Also new t-shirts. Christmas gift the wife got me. Project Winky from Bad Obsession Motorsports. If you don't watch it you need to give it a watch. It's a good watch. They are building a mini with a Celica GT4 engine in a four wheel drive and they want to fit the engine in a standard round now so it's an interesting watch I'll we'll stick their channel in the description and um, also guys check out my website grab yourself some merch I do appreciate it, it helps the channel in a big way I am going to have a few new bits on the website so just t-shirts, hoodies, stickers I'm going to try and get jet tags I'm going to try and get cups and everything helps towards the channel guys the website is live it's awesome I built it myself I'm very proud of it so please go check out the website, link in the description. Um, I will be doing discounts on the website as well. There's a few discounts already on it there for Christmas. So guys, check out the website, check out the Patreon, sign up, 
get early videos and more access to discounts and stuff. So yeah, guys, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.